Okay, this is a tutorial about using denoiser. So if you have uh, like this, that sound in the background because you used one of the shotgun mics, then this is how you get rid of it. Now it's uh, it's trickier than you than you think because you actually have to do a few things. You actually have to. Uh, well, I'll show you how to use it, and then I'll show you talk about the complicated part about it. So if you have your clips, now, in this tutorial you won't be able to hear it, but you'll be able to hear it on your project when you do it. So denoiser is in effects, it's in audio effects, and you take denoiser, and in theory, this is what you'd think, that you drag it onto your audio of your clip. Now, when you go and you go back to, we're selected on it, and we go to effect controls, and we can see denoiser right here. So really, the ones that we need is you open it up and maybe open up all three of these. And you'll notice that if you get to about here, you'll notice the static is kind of gone. Maybe go a little bit more in reduction, you know, offset a little bit. And let's go freeze on. Just drag it over until it turns to on. Okay, that should be good, right? And But you'd think, okay, well, I got to do that to every single clip in my project. Well... That's what I thought too. And for the movies uh, last year, I added that reduction to every single clip. And then when I exported, I realized and did some research that there's a three second delay. So every single clip, it sounded like and you could hear it like the static going on and then dropping out. So if you did that to every one of your clips, then you are going to have that same problem on the export. You're not going to, it's not going to actually get rid of everything. So what you have to do is you have to export, once you have to edit the whole thing without denoiser, export it, and then as just the audio, so I'll, I'll show you, you go file and you go export media, and over here you would go from QuickTime to MP3, You'd name it and save it to your file, and then you'd hit export. And then you're just going to get just the audio from your whole video here, and you'll be able to put it back in, and then you can denoise it. But sorry, one thing that I forgot there is that make sure that as you're, when you're exporting this audio to mute all your songs. If you have any songs in it or any uh, like other sound effects or anything that don't need to be denoised, then mute them out first and then you'll get just one audio clip this whole way through then you can just put in denoiser once on that big long audio clip and you're gonna hear still a little bit of static at the start it's gonna go and it'll drop out and it'll be out the whole time so if you don't want that static at the start then I, I'll come by and I'll, I'll help you figure it out but if or I, I can explain it right now too but you might not understand it so what you want to do is you want to extend your first clip out so that you have extra sound. So see this little gap? That might be enough right there. We'll hear static there, and it might drop out by the time we actually need to hear this sound. So you might, not, might want to move your whole project over a little bit and have this big gap over here. So this will be where the static is. So when we bring it back in, we can just mute that section and bring the volume down in that section so we don't hear the ksh, like the static so it's just dropped out the whole way through so if you understand that good otherwise call me over and I'll help you get rid of that first static but leave a little gap before you go file export media and switch it to mp3 there okay that should do it that should get rid of your static uh, yep okay bye